Hi my friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the fastest way to detect the short circuit. If you want to fix shorted motherboards in minutes, stay tuned. This video is for you. So let's get started. But please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and for anyone who want to accelerate learning, I can be your mentor. All links in the description. So guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to detect the short circuit in any motherboard. This is basically the only video you need to fix any short circuit in any motherboard without the voltage injector, without the thermal camera. So let's get started. So first guys, when you get a short circuit, so please guys, when you get a shorted motherboard, what you have to put in your mind is coil. Do you see? We have coils or inductors. These coils and inductors are the key to detect any short circuit just in seconds. Of course, you can find also coils like this one, like this one. This is SMD coils. Here also we have PL, as you can see. So we're gonna use these coils to detect short circuit. How? I show you how. So guys, you need just the multimeter and choose the continuity option. Okay, in the multimeter, choose the continuity option. And then let's get started. Let's begin with this motherboard, guys. So I'm going. So I'm going to show you some motherboards, no shorted motherboards and shorted motherboards in order to understand 100%. So where is it? After selecting the continuity option in the multimeter, let's put the black probe in the ground. Everywhere in the ground, guys, for beginner, we have ground everywhere in the motherboard, as you can see. So everywhere, guys, we have ground. Okay, for beginner. So the black probe in the ground let's begin from here and check the coils here we have reading good good this one good this one here for the room nice this one over here we have 11 this is not a short guys 11 is not a short when the inductor belong to the CPU circuit or PCH circuit, okay? So let's check if we have another coil, that's it. You can even test the tantalum capacitor, the same reading, we have 11, 11, guys, 11 is normal when you measure or you check inductors and ceramic capacitors near to CPU. So this board is not shorted 100%. Let's see another board. So let's check this board, guys. So always the black probe in the ground. Let's put the black probe in the ground. Let's get started. This inductor here, no continuity. This one, good. This one, good. Here, we have nine. This one also we have nine. Why? Do CPU. This is to charge for the CPU. That's why we have here low resistance, low resistance. This is not a short. Let's check this one also. We have ready. Let's go to the RAM. Let's go to the RAM circuit. We have the RAM. This one. Good. This one. Good. This board is not short. Guys, let's check this board and then go to a shorted board. And I will show you a shorted board. So let's begin with this one, for example. So let's begin with this one, guys. So, so the black probe in the ground. Let's begin with this inductor. Belong to RAM circuit. Good. This one here. We have 15. Why? Because here we have the ICH. Okay, good. So all is good. We don't have shorts in this board. So guys, I will show you. I will prove to you. Before checking a shorted board or even two shorted boards, I will show you why we have this low resistance. I will prove to you. So guys, I'm going to use this motherboard to show you why the inductors are beeping 
So my friends, I will use this board to prove to you why exactly do coils near the CPU, any CPU are BP like this. We have nine, we have here nine. So this is basically an old motherboard, but the same working principle for all boards. Of course, I know that there is some boards where we have an integrated CPU, but here I want, I want to teach you and to prove to you that this is not a short guys okay look guys pay attention okay i will put the black so the black probe is in the ground okay and the red probe i will put it in the inductor and then open the cpu okay let's get started open the cpu you see guys the shorts is gone why because i open the cpu okay even if the cpu is inserted but it's not closed look once i close the cpu you see guys i get nine high reading low reading high reading low reading do you see this is means nine is not a short when you check inductors near the cpu or the pc hedge guys so please pay attention to this trick okay open close open close open close open close means guys nine in the multimeter in this inductors is not a short this is the resistance for this processor once you remove the processor once you open the processor like this okay so the short is gone once you insert the processor and then close it to the board we get nine means it's not a short so please pay attention the low resistance in the inductor, the low reading in the inductors near the CPU, the PCH, the integrated CPU is not a short. Sometimes, guys, for some CPUs, you can even find, as you can see, six like this or seven. So, guys, we have the example, a shorted board. We have basically the CPU. This is the back of the CPU. So if I put the black probe in the ground like this and check the 10 telem capacitors in the back of the CPU, let's check. Do you see? We have one. This one also. We have one. All telem capacitors, do you see? Zero. If even I check the telem capacitors, one this one one do you see guys this is the real short in this board we have a real short circuit 